Hey there, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how you can change your IP address. Now, there are several ways to change your IP address and the best method really depends on what type of IP you're trying to change and for what purpose. Now, your IP address can generally be broken down into two types. The internal or local IP address assigned by your router to devices on your home network. So my router IP address could be pretty much all of these numbers, but my PC will probably have a different number than my phone. So if I go check on my phone right now, I'll have a very similar IP address because I'm connected to the same network, but with slightly different numbers at the end here. Now the external IP address is basically the one that's assigned to your modem by your internet service provider. So because it's assigned by your internet service provider, the first method to change your IP address, I know this isn't necessarily hiding your IP address, but you can change your IP address simply by contacting your ISP and asking them to assign you a different IP address. Now, if you don't want to involve your ISP into this, you can just simply switch off your router, wait about five to 10 minutes, turn it back on and check on the IP address. It should be changed because by then you'll have picked up a new IP address from your ISP and your old IP address would have probably been picked up by another router in the area. And you can also manually change your IP address. Just go to start, go to settings, here you'll see network and internet and then click properties, scroll down, you'll see IP assignment, go ahead and click edit and just put manual and then adjust your IPv4 IP address. For example, if your IP address is, as you can tell here, 173-239-211-154, maybe switch it to 155 or 156, something along those lines. That's one way to just manually change your IP address. And once you have your new IP address, just input the subnet mask, which can be something like 255.255.255.0. This is for home networks. And as far as the default gateway, this is just the local IP address of your router, which is often, you know, something like 192.168.1.1. You can find the exact one if you just go to cmd so let's just go to command prompt real quick and input ip config here you'll be able to see your ip address your subnet mask and default gateway so feel free to change your ip address a little bit while the subnet mask and default gateway can remain the same so this is how you enter these here and then just change your ip address slightly and you'll be good to go so as an example if i take this here i could just put it here and change it to 155 instead of 154 and that's basically it now when you're changing your ip address in this way you're not really doing anything to hide your ip address sure you've changed your ip address but your isp can still know what you're doing online. And by the way, if you're on Mac and you wanna be able to do this, just follow along here. Open the system settings on Mac OS Ventura and newer, by the way, or system preferences on older versions. Go to network, select your active connection, whether it's Wi-Fi or ethernet, and click details on Ventura or advanced on older versions. Go to the TCP slash IP tab, switch from using DHCP to manually and enter a new IP address, and then apply the changes. That's how it works on Mac. Okay, so I've talked about the manual way to change it. I've talked about restarting your modem or contacting your ISP. There's also one more way to do this and it's through proxies. So essentially you can do the same thing that I just did, but instead of changing your own IP address, you can simply use an IP address from a proxy that you can find off the internet. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend a proxy to hide your IP address and it's for security reasons. So if privacy is something that you're a little more interested in, then you probably wanna go for the Tor project here. You can download the Tor browser. Sure, this is typically used for the dark web, but you can still use it as a very private and safe browser. But to really push your security to the next level, a proxy is not going to provide encryption, but a VPN will. So 
In this case, if you use a VPN, not only will it hide your IP address, but it'll also make it look like I'm coming from that location. So again, a VPN, short for virtual private network, will protect your data, your browsing data, whatever it is that you're doing online. So as you can tell here, I'm connected to ExpressVPN. Whatever I look up on my browser, whether it's proxies or the Tor project or whatever it is, at the moment, my ISP will not know what I'm doing online. Now, the way to let them know what I'm doing online is by simply turning off the VPN. And that's how I go back to my local server, which is connected to my ISP. Now, if I go to locations, for example, let's just take Canada, this time instead of the States and I connect to Canada and go back to what is my IP.com here or org rather, I'll give it a refresh and you'll notice that my IP address changes and my country changes. So this will be useful in not only privacy, because obviously it's going to, you know, protect your information. And again, the encryption here is basically the scrambling of your data so that nobody's able to make sense of it or read it in any way. So that's what I mean by encryption. And at the same time, if I go to any website, let's say I go to Netflix now, it'll think that I'm actually in Canada and not in the States. So if I go down here, you'll notice that it says top 10 movies in Canada today. And this is basically how it works. It makes it look like you're coming from the location that you're connected to. And so this is what I personally recommend as far as a tool that changes or hides your IP address, because it simply just comes with many benefits, you know, benefits that you don't really typically see with a proxy or the tour. But when you combine, for example, a VPN with Tor, forget about proxies. Once you use a VPN, you don't need proxies whatsoever. VPNs basically make proxies almost useless, really, because they do everything that a proxy does and much more. The only thing, in my opinion, that a proxy does better than a VPN is speed. And it's because a proxy will not encrypt your connection. It will not protect your information like a VPN does. It doesn't really offer that kind of privacy or protection. When you're using a proxy, you're essentially at the mercy of whoever is the administrator. So as far as trusting random administrators on the internet with proxies, even if it's an official looking site like this, I would probably just go with a VPN to make sure that I'm as protected as possible. And of course, I do prefer a VPN for all the other benefits that I'm getting, whether it's streaming whatever library or service that I would like to stream or protecting my information while torrenting and so on and so forth. Now, Express is not the only VPN, you know, one of the best VPNs out there is also not Nord and Surfshark. I don't want to make this video too long, though. If you're interested in any of these VPNs, I'll leave all the links that you need in the description down below, whether you're looking for a discount or full reviews, if you want to learn a little bit more about these VPNs. So just a little bit of a recap, you can contact your ISP to change your IP address, and you can also turn off your router for about five to 10 minutes, that's the second method, and just turn it back on and that'll change your IP address. If you wanna hide your IP address, you can use a proxy or the Tor browser. And if you wanna not only hide your IP address, but make it look like you're coming from elsewhere, as well as protect your online activity, so whether you're browsing or torrenting or streaming, your ISP and no one else essentially will be able to see what you're doing online, including the VPN itself. And don't worry, I chose these three VPNs because they don't collect your information, so you don't have to worry about that. And so yeah, it really is up to you whether you wanna go with a VPN or some other tool to change or hide your IP address. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and if you have any questions feel free to drop them below and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day